It's getting down to the end for Sprayway on this OBS. I got one more thing to do, then I can start putting it back together. I got some lights I need to unbox. Then I'm going to tent those, but before I do that, I got a package from my boy over there at Whips Most Wanted. He sent me. We're going to unbox it together. Let me put the camera down because I ain't going to be able to do this with one hand. Then I'll cut you back on. I went and got a towel because... I can see it's a head in here, and I didn't want to put it on this dirty surface. But let's take it out. It's a box Chevy Caprice LS. It's a nice quality here. Also got his name on the side. Whoops, most wanted. Y'all go check him out on YouTube. I'm going to put this information down, and it should be popping up. Also got some air freshness. And some stickers. Let's see what we got. It's another box Chevy LS. Another one. And a cutlass. Y'all need some of these? Y'all go holler at Whips Most Wanted. Before we start putting this truck back together, we got some unboxing we got to do. One of them the GMC style headlights, and the other one is the Chevy style. Because I got a GMC grill and a Chevy grill. But we're going to tin them up. We're going to put a little tin on them, and that's what this video here is going to be about. So let me take them out, and I'll show you what I got. This hill would be the Chevy style headlights. But these are the side motors. We're gonna put a light tin on them. And these are the headlights. Got the halo ring. I'm gonna set these down and get the GMC. Alright, pretty much the everything the same except the side markers. The side markers made different for the Chevy and the GMC because the extra grill shaped different. Just the Chevy. Just the GMC there. Shape a little bit bigger than the GMC, but everything is pretty much the same. Even though everything's still the same, except the side markers, I'm still gonna take this sharpie and write GM. I think this the passenger side. I'm just gonna mark everything. So once I get done, because we're not going to put the GM on, we're going to put the shape on. Once I get done, I still have everything in order. I got all my pieces laid out on the table. I just marked the GMC. I didn't mark the Chevy. Now, next step is we're going to remove this plastic on each piece, but we're going to do it one at a time. I'll probably start with the actually here like first what we 
got to do is mix these perfectly done headlights up. Because we got to scuff everything up for the clear stick. We're going to 10 out clear. And we're going to use 400 grit. I already got some two and a half in here soaking in some soapy water. We're just going to go across the plastic part of the headlight. All the pieces. Just the part that's going to be seen. The clear lens. This sort of clear house in the bun too. Once we take care of all these pieces here, I'll cut you back on. This is what it's looking like after you sand them. These two here haven't been sanded. You can see the difference. This one here hasn't been sanded. I've been sanded these. Let me take care of the rest of them, then we'll move on. I'll also be tinting this one here. I'm going to sand this down as well. Put a light tint on it. Just the back brake light to go on the back of the cab. Then took care of sanding everything with the 400 grit. Now what I do, I wipe it down, wipe everything down, and kind of situate it, put it in place so it won't be flapping when I start spraying it. Like I put these here on that stand over here. It should hold it in place, not stand, but rack grill whatever you want to call it then I keep these on the table put this here I'm gonna have to find a way to keep this from falling over like that might put it over here somewhere but I figured out just finished up blowing all the pieces off and wipe them down now it's time to spray the adhesion promoter with some plastic adhesion promoter. I'm going to be spraying one or two coats of that on here before I spray the clear. This is just one coat of the adhesion promoter. That's all I'm going to put on it. I'm mixing up the clear now. 
I don't put the activator in the clear. I just got a tenant. I got some base coat here. And what you want to do, you just want to put a little in there at a time because you can always put more coats on there to darken it up instead of having it too dark from the jump. So I'm just going to put a little in there. Stir it up. It looks like it's black now, but it's actually not. And also, this black metallic, it got a little metallic in it, but you're not going to really be able to see it unless you're looking real close. I spray one coat of this. You see how dark it is? I might got to add some more black to it or put more coats. one coat it's not really tinted dark enough like I want it so I add some more black to the clear I probably just add the rest of this Let's see what it do then dark as I want it I'm gonna add one more coat of clear on top of this just plain clear they ain't gonna be tinted I got it right here already mixed 
just gotta put it on my gun. And stuff with the three coats of clear. Once it dry, I put the light spec on, also the grill, and maybe the bumper, and cut it back on and get another shot with everything assembled. Before I start putting these lights and stuff back on my OBS, I gotta put the front back on. And if you wanna see how I made this 4-4 four is painting the truck and painting all these pieces, I have everything down in the description, all the videos. I'm gonna put this bottom piece on first on the bumper. Then I'll probably take these lights out and install these and just go from there. Give a little update. I done put this bottom piece on the bumper. I had to take the old bolts and stuff out. The old bumper. Also done installed the headlights. I done made my decision on I'm going to hook these halos up. I'm going to have them hooked up to the daytime running lights. I just got to splice in to them, which I already did this side. I got to do that side there. Just wanted to give you a little update. I'll cut you back on once I get finished. I got this side done. I haven't done this side yet. Just gotta tap these wires until down here. Finished with both of them. I'm gonna show you what wires I tapped into. On this side, the green and the brown, I tapped into the blue for the green and the brown to the brown. You can either use either one. And on this side, the brown to the brown, the green to the blue. It's a lighter blue on this side than that side.
we never stop.